Last September at the uh, Congress in Shanghai, we were greeted with the news that a one kilometer plus tall building had actually begun construction. And uh, we're with Talal Al Maiman, who's the chief executive officer for Kingdom Real Estate, talking about the Kingdom Tower project in Jeddah, Jeddah Saudi Arabia. And it's happening. It's going on. What's, what, what stage are we at right now? Uh, first of all, I'd like to assure you, uh, since we had signed the, the uh, contract in uh, August 2011, a lot of work had take, taken place. And today, uh, we basically have uh, convinced the main contractor to take over the uh, piling contractor to be under the umbrella, so they are responsible about the end product. And piling had uh, been signed uh, last October. Uh, they had to actually manufacture somehow parts of the machinery specifically for this project. Uh, and the first pile went through the ground on April 1st, 2013. And the whole job is uh, to be expected to ex is expected to finish uh, by end of this year. And then the vertical work starts. Then the vertical works, the raft, and then the the rest of it. And and we read here that the construction plan uh, will take five years and three months, sixty three months to complete. Is that accurate? Well, actually, it is sixty three months. The question, or the right question, is when does it start? And that's an issue uh, already. We're talking about the with the contractor. But uh, to us, we, we have uh, for sure uh, October, end of October of 2012 was an acceptable uh, date. So you calculate 63 months from end of October 2012. This is an amazing project because this is a kilometer tall building at least, uh, 1,000 plus meters. Um, and a lot of people might not understand what is the, the social uh, and the economic justification for something this size? What's the need? Well, actually, the whole idea started by owning uh, a huge piece of land. It's 5.3 million square meters of land. That's uh, really huge. And uh, we needed to attract the attention of a poorly uh, served city like Jeddah today with the infrastructure to create the new center of Jeddah or the new Jeddah per se. So in order to attract the traffic towards that spot, which is just north of uh, the Sharm Ubhar in Jeddah. We thought of a university, we thought of uh, a great healthcare center, which will all be there at one stage. But we thought we anchor the land uh, with the tallest building in the, in the world, and that would be a magnet good enough to attract the attention of all the world to this piece of land. And the actual economics comes from the total uh, package, not only the tower. So when somebody says, if you would build the tower alone, would it be economical? I'd say, oh, it's on a very thin ground. Uh, but when you take into account the value that will be a spillover of the tower onto the neighboring land, I'd say it's a great economical uh, project. The social fabric of, uh, of the city, sounds like you're transplanting a pretty good portion of the city or, or moving it. Uh, how are you going to keep that sense of community, that sense of neighborhood in such a big building? Well, actually, it will be, it, it will be a, d a difficult thing to, to maintain the existing uh, uh, cultural uh, community uh, relation between, between the, the people of that area. What we're trying to create here is creating a new area that enjoys the best of technologies, and the best of environment and infrastructure and services that would allow the people that moves in it um, a sense of community because it will be, like we said earlier, uh, environment friendly. It will have sidewalks for them to, to, uh, to really enjoy uh, walking, will encourage the sports areas, will encourage uh, planting and landscaping. and. So it, we are creating a total integrated project that, that the focus of it is the human that is living there uh, versus having to protect what is being there today in an older uh, community. The, the society there and the community is already close together through family. And, but honestly, what we are providing here is nothing towards the culture itself, but this is what we say, live and live, you know, uh, the area. And uh, where, where we will provide something that is not uh, existing today in Jeddah. 
is is moving people into a building of this of this size does it make it easier to provide for people in that environment than it does in the existing environment well not first it's not necessarily we're moving people because uh, as you know Jeddah is 60 kilometers from Mecca and you're talking about like uh, $2000 per square meter in the land in Jeddah versus $200,000 for a meter in Mecca. So if you really are, you, you're looking for a second home close to the Holy Mosque, all you have to do is buy one in Jeddah and drive one hour. So really, we're not trying to, within the tall building that we're talking about, we're not, we don't think the majority of the tenants will be uh, first home. Uh, it will be probably a second home for the people of Jeddah, also a second home for those who visit outside Jeddah, including the Gulf uh, uh, nationals. What, uh, what were the factors that drove the height of this building? Because you, you had to settle on a final height. Uh, and, and I understand that at one time this building was actually planned probably more than a, a one and a half kilometers, right? What, were, what did you have to balance to finally come up with a, a height figure? Well, actually, uh, it was never 1.6, uh, which is the one mile, as right. they called it. It was always one kilometer plus. And the plus is <coughs> basically that we are maintaining it for our own self uh, to, to, uh, to just surprise the market with the, with the final height. But the height was three things. One, uh, the, the regulator. Uh, was a big factor to, to approve that specific height. Number two, we wanted to break the record of the existing one of Burj Khalifa at 828. And number three, we wanted to surpass a very important psychological barrier of height, one kilometer. We wanted to, to surpass that. Uh, people will remember always who broke the first kilometer in height, uh, and that would be our building. Uh, the Council on Tall Buildings and Urban Habitat is a resource or, or should be a resource for people who, uh, who construct tall buildings. What kind of assistance are you looking for when you, uh, when you look at a group like this? I think the council has succeeded in bringing such huge number of talent and, and know-how to, uh, to the Congress. And therefore, they would be the, uh, if I may call it, the database of knowledge to be provided at a cost for that matter that supports future events of, of, of the Congress uh, to governments. And they become the people that help them, the, the developers plus government, to, to do the job that is required. What would you like to see come out of this? Is, is there an agency or a spin-off or some kind of organization that you think needs to be formed to, to give help like this? Y yes, or basically um, a small office or an appointee like uh, most of the universities have uh, alumni. You, you, you need maybe an alumni of high buildings in every city. And they would come together once a year to talk about the issues and they write papers, they present them at the university levels at, uh, or even government, governmental or through uh, a specialized uh, magazine. And, and I think it's, it's knowledge that we require in every country. Today it's Saudi Arabia, tomorrow maybe it's Qatar. Uh, after tomorrow it's in, in, in uh, Algeria. I don't know. Um, but for sure, governments at this stage really do not have the know-how nor the resource to, to say yes or no. And I think this Congress can do a lot. Uh, yes, it will take time. But they definitely, if, if they cannot do it, no one can because they have the link and the access to all the professionals in this uh, job uh, building tall towers. Nobody has ever done this before, and uh, a, a one kilometer tall building, and it's happening right now, uh, and that's amazing. But uh, Talal Al Maiman, thank you for dropping by to see us in London. Thank you. Thank you.